You just wonder, I mean, it's an outside chance for Boris, but this would be the perfect time to break. He could certainly apply a lot of pressure here. 98 remaining after those first two, and he's found another treble 20 for good measure, and all of a sudden Lennon under pressure here. That leaves 47, and that leaves tops. Game shot what the a play. pressure shot that was from Steve, Steve Lennon. Lennon. Ten flag, it's Boris to throw first. That has I got to fill you full of confidence. He's being to to date against Luke Woodhouse and John Henderson. So... There will still be nerves for the experienced Crutchmer. Lennon gets under 200 first, but that's a perfect lie for Boris. Oh. 180! And didn't he make the most of it as well? It was the perfect lie, and he filled it up beautifully, and all of a sudden, Steve Lennon feeling a little bit hot under the collar now. 59. And he can't find Boris the trouble of any sort 81. there. And Boris Kirchmar looking now at double 12 for a passage into the second round have to go all the way back to the airport and then return will take a bit more energy out of him but it's a good job that didn't happen first thing this morning because at least he had a night's sleep in between that incident and playing here surely there's no players that travel in the morning anymore is there you travel the day before don't you i in 2018, I was working as a commentator for the Premier League and was playing quite a lot of action on the European Tour as well. So I used to travel first flight out. But the PDC were very kind in giving me the evening session. Ah, see, the PDC were very kind. They were, and they deserve every little bit of uh, praise for giving that to me. And most of the time it paid off. But one thing I do want to mention, obviously, Jacques, yourself... You've got so many different talents in this game. Commentator, MC, presenter, referee as well. We have a new referee on stage in Charlie Costafine. We have referees backstage too this weekend 100. with Ryan not just yourself, but Richard Ashdown and Marco Myers here yep. doing a bit of backstage yeah. work. So welcome to Marco. Michael, can he find a trouble 18 here? He can. Bullseye for a 164. Ooh. Yeah, the Ooh. Ryan Very good. In a funny sort of way, Shaki might think I'm, I'm quite glad I've left double 10 because I haven't really missed it in this no. match. He's missed it once when he could afford to miss it. 140. Well, Ryan, Ryan you require 20. what an opportunity to be through by 2 o'clock on a Friday. First time in the match, he's inside double ten. ten. Oh, and all of a sudden, Andy Bolton Andy, you is in here 64. to start a comeback, potentially. They have to start somewhere. He's had a 68, so 64, not that much different. Double 16. 32. Doesn't get it. Mikkel has missed tops, tens and fives for this match. Game but he doesn't shot. miss a fifth match dart. And, match. and he gets Ryan over the line Michael. with a really good display. So seven match darts have come and gone for Scott Waits. He's been given a let off there as well. Double two this time. That's eight match darts. Oh. And that is nine. Can you require oh dear. 20? Wow. Hmm. No score. Got required. Well, he's done the sensible thing by busting his score and starting all over again from double ten, but waits. Surely this is his time. He's into the madhouse. Ten match darts have come and gone. That's eleven. Yes, and and score. It's a dirty dozen in the end. Too much Rocky with the switch downstairs either. So Smith in position once again here. One, four, six, six darts from here. Yeah, the first nine is a real worry for Kevin Burness. Has not found his range on that treble 20 at all. He's had a lot of darts caressing the wire. It's been very unfortunate. That's a much better first shot. 81. Russia require 86. I'm not going to have a great deal of luck 
translating the signs this week. My Dutch is about as good as my Norwegian. Well, Jack duly obliged in the previous match. It was brilliant to have him on board for that one because the, the crowd kept on yeah, coming up with the, the goods and so Ross too does Ross Smith with another bullseye. But it has gone by the wayside. Now, Kevin Vaness has only been past the second round twice this year. And it's almost June. You can sense why his confidence may be a little bit low. If he were to come back and win 6-5 from here, that would do his confidence a world of good. But Ross Smith has now got 121 to win the match. So this for the match. Well, well, that's 102, which leaves 19. And the last thing you want to do here is go anywhere near the 19. Oh, it's a good single three. He pulls that a smidgen, <laughs> and that busts the shot. And he will come in for his first match opportunity oh, for a very good, solid first-round display. 16. Ross Smith then in position. And once again, he moves over to that right-hand side of the hockey to try and find Very a way sure. through. And uh, once again, it's almost a carbon off, copy man. shot, really. In 2006. Andrew requires 66. Now, I've, I've said it to Yella Sombra a few times. Maybe it's better for you. It suits you better. Maybe less 180s, but more stability. And that's 48 left for the man they would call Gildo in Australia. 26. Well, 170 left eventually by... Wesley. Wesley require 170. It's a big ask. If he's going to get this, the first 60 has got to be high. That'll do. Oh, listen to this if it goes in for another bullseye check out today. Oh, he fancied it. He would have loved to have that one. Andrew require 40. People love a 170, but it's not as, not as hard as a 167. 10 for Andrew Game shot and he silences the crowd for 3-3 three, three. this one's following the exact same path as our first game, game of the day huge ambitions for this weekend but it looks like Goldfinger is going to be the bad guy like he was in the Bond movie <laughs> well Plaisier has kept the same level of play during the entire match it's just gilding upping his at the moment, 82. his first nine is up to 110, which is 10 points more than Wesley's. His overall average is 99 and a bit. It's just really, really good. Yep. 71. Sometimes you lose matches on the stage Andrew because Rekhoi you didn't play well. The other time is when your opponent just plays better than you did. doesn't matter what standard you have found. They have found an extra gear. Gilding. Finds the win with a beautiful finish to the match. I don't think per se he's um, a multiple winner, mm -hmm. but he's very, very, very consistent. So he'll do quarterfinals, 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 if you know what 60. I mean, rather than winning one and getting knocked out first round five times in a row. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of... Uh qualifiers he needed to win to get through here as well Gabriel Clemens was the standout performance 6-5 and Luke Peters was the other player he overcame Larson's qualifying campaign much more drawn out much longer um, five matches although he received a bye in the first round so four matches for Daniel Larson to navigate in that qualifier in Gothenburg and like I say he's had plenty of time to get ready for this tournament 161 is not going to go. Yeah, we've seen him qualify quite a few uh, times, obviously, for these 93. European Tour events. He's had a tour card as well, hasn't he? Yes, he has, has, yeah. 140. Yeah, was uh, involved in Munich fairly recently as well. Lost to Belly Van Pier in the first round on that occasion. 140 here for Van den Bahara. And he's got the first two darts that he needs as well. Double 10 for a break of throw. What a way to start off. Oh Very impressive indeed on the finishing to return at double 18. No margin for error whatsoever here on double 20. 
He's missed 12 out of double at, in succession now. That's 13 in a row he's missed. And he knows it as well. It must be preying on his mind. Double 10. Yeah, wide of the mark again. The reaction told its own story there. Daniel and just simply far too many missed opportunities. And he could well be punished once again. This is potentially a 13 dart break for Daniel Larson. Double 18. Three clear darts at it as well. Well, he got there in the end. Couldn't find the double 18, but no mistake with his solitary dart at double. He needs to get under 100. He will. Still say take the 25 off. 95. Leaves you on 56. It's a little bit easier than 66 100. where he's now. Yeah. Well, 96. Can't find the treble 20. That would have left double 18. But, I mean, as it is, Larson must be hopeful that he will return because Van der Bahada, well, 14 missed starts at a double so far. Should get another dart at a double here. I think Van den Bahad is, is he querying that? I think he thought he was on 56, you know, because he had a good long look at the scoreboard. Anyway, it is 66. And he's found the treble 10 for double 18. So pass just new here for Van den Bahad. And it's the same old story. One from 17 now. Daniel, you require 60. Oh, it's easy to see where the problems lie in this match for Mario. You suspect that Mario will spend maybe not the immediate aftermath of this match, but certainly sometime at later this weekend. Shot. Just the match. peppering Daniel the doubles Arthur. on the practice board. Points to make from a young person's standpoint watching the game of darts. I, I don't just listen to the people who have a lot of clout in this game. I listen to the fans and the supporters and the YouTubers just to see what's going on. It is the 21st century after all and everybody's yeah. allowed their opinion. And many of them make a very valid contribution as well. Yes, they do. Not everybody does, but uh, there are plenty who do and all sensible, reasonable, uh, non-vitriolic comments are And enthusiastic too. That's the most important thing because... If you look at someone like Biowetsky, for instance, we're looking for the next stage of Polish dart players. He is the next stage of Polish darts. Yeah. And that's typical of Klaassen. And I don't know why he's shaking his head at a 156. Well, I know it's a 21 dart leg, but let's... And Michael Van Gerwen got a shed load as well, so he was running into the form horses. Which leads us to the next point, which is, <laughs> guess who's waiting for the winner? Michael Van Gerwen. And the winner looks as though it will be Jelle Klaassen. Without a tour card, but with a passage into round two there for the taking. Yeah, neither player without a tour, with a tour card in this match. Just goes to show, even when you don't have a tour card, there are still opportunities. Double 16 for Jelle Klassen for a 6-1 win. He's not there yet, and he will be hopeful of returning. Biowetsky needs this 1-6-4. This would be out of the clear blue sky. Because he has not played his game today, averaging 82 in the first nine. Yeah, it's not been his day, but it has been Jelle Klassen's day. 